What are you doing? What's going on guys? Welcome back to Michigan Great Outdoors. Today we are going to the Genesis 3D printing saddle tune-up event and we're getting ready to pull in. I am like 30 minutes early so it's out here kind of past Grand Rapids but I'm looking forward to it. You know he's going to have all his products out there that we're going to be able to check out. We're going to be able to meet a bunch of cool dudes. A couple of my buddies are coming out too so I think it's gonna be a good time and uh, we'll film a, a short little video and just kind of show you guys what Genesis 3D is all about. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. This is getting great actor. Yeah. That's one of the most valuable tools that you have in the saddle is I can hide from all of you guys. You know, if there's a whole line of deer going through here and you know the last one in line, that buck that's chasing the doe, he's the one I want. I don't want anything else to see it, see me here, so I'm just gonna hide. And I can tuck myself right behind this tree. I can wait until I got my moment and then I can pop out on your platform. So if it was leaning real severe to the side and you go to get past it and it wants to keep pulling you farther, it's really nice to be able to do something like throw your knee into the tree, keep yourself. What's the difference between this flop around or any other piece of clothing I'm wearing? So 
do stealth. All right, well, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Spencer. For those of you guys that uh, I haven't met before, we thought it'd just kind of be helpful to walk through some of the different ways you can get a little extra height out of your stick by using aiders. So these are uh, pretty bottom of the barrel sticks. They're Hawk Helium. And I cut them down so that they're about 24 inches long. So a Versa aider is basically an aider that attaches to the button of the stick. Um, this particular one, a lot of companies make them, but this is the general principle. It's got a loop on the top. A lot of times the loop's made of am steel. And then on the bottom, there's just a, another loop with a castration band to tighten it down. And so you just put it on your foot, tighten the castration band down. And then at the top, there's a piece of elastic with a carabiner. You just clip that to your belt so that it, that it hangs there. And when you put this on the loop, you kind of want it, you just loop it up like that over your, your button. And you just want it a comfortable distance. Uh, it's adjustable, so that's about where I like it. I typically have it set so my stick is two feet, and then I'm two foot below that, and then two foot from the ground. So for me, it's a really repeatable climbing system. So just put into the tree and then step up. The nice thing about this system is that when you stand up, that, that piece of elastic pulls it pulls it off the loop, just like that. So then I would climb up, you know, put my next one on, and all I gotta do is grab it, it's right there, hook it onto my next stick. Coming down, same thing, you're just gonna, I like to just kinda loop it on, put my weight into it, go down. So what I like about this system is that it's permanently attached to my foot, and I'm not pushing my foot into an aider loop on the way down. It's just, for me, it's a lot more security than, than some of the other styles. Hey, you can get from Gano at EWO or from Lone Wolf Custom Gear, they'll have the wire aiders. But also you'll see more companies coming out with the fixed Amsteel style, like even Sam over the, at the booth right over there, Amsteel guy, he'll have different variations that can either loop behind your standoff or loop kind of like uh, Spencer showed, around these bottom steps or through some of these holes um, to be able to have that fixed height there all the time. I'll pop this off real quick and just show the demonstration. What's really nice about these wire aiders is you can use them in conjunction with some of the other type of aiders if you'd like to. So for instance, this one here, one of the things that you gotta figure out and Spencer touched on it is just your heights something you want to practice with because if you don't have an idea of where the heights line up you can either hang it too high or too low for the way that your aiders are set up so like for instance i try to make it so the bottom step based on this is right around chin height and i know that that's going to do what i need it to do so spencer was showing you might if you heard him talk about making that slight variation of his by adding a am steel loop so this is just a continuous loop um I just get this around my foot, get the castration band down so that it stays there. Same type of thing as he was showing before. Get the hook on my belt. And then the other thing that you get out of this is when you're stepping up, you could only raise your leg so high on your own, right? But if you've got another arm pulling for you, you can actually get it up even higher. So I wouldn't have been able to reach up that high with my leg if it weren't for holding onto that. And then I just, and now I'm up. So I'll get about, you know, easily seven foot or more per stick. I don't like to go too crazy. I don't like to work up a crazy sweat trying to get up a tree. So this is about a, the height that I'm gonna go. But super light, super simple, pretty safe. And then you just replicate it on the way down. Um, you just have to get your hand still loop around the button and then you're good to go you can customize the, the distance on the step so if you want 16 18 20 inch steps in between you just make that call when you purchase the system and then i'm just going to get this through my foot right and that's it so 
Very similar to the demonstration that Tim Clark had earlier. I think he uses very similar uh, method. So that is the uh, three-step baiter from Backwoods Mobile Gear. Oh, I have two stick right here. Too high for me. <laughs> Well, the benefit is I can get about 18, 17 to 18 feet with two sticks in a platform. So if you're really looking for a lightweight system, you know, with a platform and running two sticks, it be sub seven pounds, sub eight pounds. It's a pretty good system. That step right at five foot with the nader and the suader, I can kind of bridge that gap. So I haven't done it with this stick yet. So I'm kind of just eyeballing the adjustments, but we'll see. You just pick up the one loop and then knee, toe into the tree and then you take your knee and just hook it over the edge of the stick that foot into the tree and then when your pressure is onto the hook you unhook that first one and step up so pretty easy climbing this is another method where it's attached the whole time coming down you just hook your knee over it's really easy to do once you get the hang of it so, once again, though, you got to take them off when you're at hunting height. So, more things to drop, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Six foot tall. So, I put my head on here like this, pull that tight, and that's how I start. You can see uh, I got Austin's clip on there. I actually just got that a couple weeks ago. Nice. <laughs> I like it. Here's what I use as far as Aider goes. I actually got this one. So this is a Shawan car from Out on a Limb. If anybody knows Matt. Matt's a good friend of mine that just kind of, I started talking to him throughout this whole saddle hunting journey, I guess I'll call it. I got this whole setup from him. So basically what I do, a couple things to point out real quick. You notice I already, I got this ready over there because we don't have much time. I want to get you guys out of here so we can do the raffle, but I got this from uh, Carl's video from Tethered. I use a carabiner instead of, if you see Dano's table up there, he's got a quick link. I tried the quick link. I didn't really like it. I didn't like the fiddle of doing it and undoing it. So I just use a carabiner. I have had some guys online kind of give me a hard time about it. I will say... I feel 100% safe when I do this. I don't, I mean, I don't weigh very much, but I've hung from this thing and climbed trees all summer long and this has never really moved. Uh, scaffold knot, I mean, it's basically rock solid. If you notice on your uh, saddles, you know, like I, I use my bridge all the way out. It doesn't move once you get it pretty much locked in and tight. So recommended, use a quick link. I use a carabiner just cause it's way easier. You'll see as I go up. Another thing you're gonna need, Mad Rock Safeguard, or I don't know, Spence, if you wanna talk real quick on the other belayed devices. This is the only one I've ever used. Yeah. Oh, um, this is the one that nobody can get right now. It's sold out everywhere. <laughs> yeah, th there's a lot of options. I mean, everybody thinks you gotta buy a safeguard, and you don't. I mean, it's a, it's a great tool, and it works really, really well, but you can do this with a friction hitch on the way you go up. So just your normal friction hitch that you have on your you know, tether with a tender on it to, to make some adjustments. And then you need a repelling device. So an ATC or a figure eight or something like that would work good. I use a device called a, a Mamut Smart 2.0. Uh, I like it because it allows you to make quick adjustments when you're climbing much like you can with the safeguard. But then when you go to come down, you just let go and it grabs the rope and stops you just like the safeguard. And it's about half the price. It is picky about the size of carabiner that you use, but it's it's an option if you can't find a safeguard yeah there's a bunch of manual stuff out there too um so for me when i got into this whole deal this is the one that i prefer just because i don't know i'm used to it and i feel safe um but you can see right now hunting or i'm not at hunting height yet but my first move here i'm six foot tall so my head's at i guess maybe 13 14 feet right around there um so another thing that i keep in mind because i use a carabiner i don't use the recommended quick link is I always keep my back side of the carabiner against the tree. And when I come off the side here, which I've never done this in front of people, I'm always like in my backyard <laughs> all by myself. Um, and some of you are probably wondering, why doesn't he have his lineman's belt around the tree? 
I mean, I played basketball my whole life. I feel fairly safe right now. You'll see when I get up, I just kind of go. As long as I keep tension here, I mean, I'm basically I'm just hunting, right? Just like a tether. That's just like a tether around the tree, so I don't really use my lineman's belt. And you can see right now, I'm not really, uh, I mean, I'm just sitting here. I don't feel unsafe. You can see my carabiner kind of rolled around a little bit. I didn't know I was going to be doing this today. You'll see a lot of guys, and I, I think on your video I've seen you do it. Yeah. They go over the front here. I don't really ever do that. I just try and stay away so this doesn't hit. I don't normally go up that high either. Take your tether up with you as you go. Try not to drop it. So I do that quickly because I, I don't have my lineman's belt attached. And like I said, this is just how I do it. Then take this. Right, you're up. This tree's kind of slippery. And that was a move there. Um, if I was hunting, I'd probably go up one more. I don't know how high you think I am now. Carl from Tethered's video, gravity's always going to win. I've done this before where I kind of start leaning one way and I've literally done a circle around the tree, right? Because I didn't, I never used to think about that. So a lot of guys, I, I like walking down the tree nice and slow like this. A lot of guys do like the Batman jump off and just let her rip. <laughs> I like being as quiet as I could possibly be. Nine zero one six. Anybody? This was an awesome event. Well, you guys can mingle around. We'll just kind of hang out for a little bit, and then we'll start kind of packing things up. But thanks, guys. Did somebody get the zinger fletchings without their koozie? I did. Okay. So how do these really work?